I'm very excited about the whole conference, but also I'm excited about this interview, especially with you too. <laughs> well, um, as a former Minister of Foreign Affairs, at what extent do you believe that cultural diplomacy could become helpful between relations with uh, Cyprus and Turkey? Should cultural diplomacy be used as a soft power tool in that case? I have always been a great proponent of uh, cultural diplomacy. Uh, I think uh, moving towards uh, uh, peace uh, and creating bridges uh, between uh, countries, between people, uh, with the use of culture uh, is uh, very important, very dynamic and very effective. Now, in the case of Cyprus with, uh, with Turkey, uh, this is a different issue. Um, I wish we could use uh, the soft power and the power of culture. Uh, of course, at the people's level, at the uh, civil society level, a lot of Cypriots uh, are visiting Turkey. Um, a lot of businessmen are visiting uh, Turkey. Um, there is not an enmity between the people. Uh, the, uh, the problem lies uh, with the policies of the particular uh, country and uh, the uh, succeeding governments uh, in Turkey that uh, continue, as you know, to occupy 37% uh, of the territory of the Republic of Cyprus. Uh, they have created a huge uh, refugee problem. Uh, there is uh, an ongoing uh, illegal uh, settlement of the uh, areas that uh, have been occupied. Uh, so the solution of the problem will come uh, through uh, negotiations, uh, through the United Nations uh, for um, a, um, a peace agreement that will uh, take into account all the aspects of the problem. At the same time, of course, we have uh, an internal uh, aspect of the problem, which is uh, the relations between the Greek Cypriots and the Turkish Cypriots. And there, cultural diplomacy can play a very important role. There are uh, many efforts. Uh, of the civil society, there are uh, uh, there is cooperation between the teachers, uh, the associations of teachers between the two communities. Uh, uh, there are different other um, uh, cultural efforts. Uh, uh, for example, there is uh, a mixed choir between Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots. So yes, there uh, it is um, uh, very effective uh, to use uh, cultural diplomacy in order to prepare the ground for the day after, for the day after the solution. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you have served as an ambassador to both Lebanon and Jordan, mm -hmm. and therefore you have an extensive knowledge on the situation in the Middle East. Do you know that cultural diplomacy can be a tool mm -hmm. in sort of uh, resolving these conflict resolutions and in proceeding in peace building process mm -hmm. in this specific region? Definitely, uh, definitely. As in other conflicts, uh, cultural diplomacy and uh, soft power can play a very important role in bringing together um, uh, adversaries in. Uh, as I said before, uh, building bridges, uh, um, uh, creating an atmosphere of uh, cooperation, which uh, uh, will be very conducive, uh, and uh, it will be uh, supportive of the efforts uh, that are going on to solve the specific problems. Uh, if we are talking about the Middle East uh, problems, we are talking about uh, uh, the um, uh, Palestinian and Israeli problem. Uh, we're talking about uh, the refugees uh, from Syria, the, the ongoing uh, civil one in Syria, with all the repercussions uh, with the uh, uh, extremist groups that, uh, that are um, involved in this uh, civil war. Uh, but uh, primarily the situation of uh, the displaced persons and the refugees, which uh, now they are estimated about seven, uh, seven uh, million uh, outside, uh, uh, inside and outside uh, Syria. Uh, so yes, uh, uh, the cultural diplomacy can play a role, uh, and uh, there are already ongoing efforts uh, uh, in neighboring countries uh, to um, uh, create this uh, atmosphere of uh, uh, cooperation uh, between the different, uh, the diff I know, for example, uh, Palestinians and Israelis. There are many, many efforts of young people, of, uh, of women, 
uh, to build these bridges uh, and um, to pave the way uh, for, uh, for peace. We haven't come uh, yet to peace, but uh, uh, there are uh, civil society organizations, NGOs, uh, uh, from the region, but also from uh, from other countries that uh, are working as we speak, uh, using cultural diplomacy as a tool. Now, as far as uh, gender equality is concerned, um, do women in Cyprus have equality in pursuing politics career nowadays? I mean, how easy is for a woman to pursue both a political career and being a mother and why? The political career is uh, rather tough. Uh, it's very demanding. Uh, but as far as gender equality is concerned, I think that um, I would say during the last 30 to 40 years, Cyprus has uh, made uh, some uh, very important advances uh, towards equality. We are not there. Uh, we, we have a, a long uh, way towards uh, uh, gender equality in Cyprus and in the world. Uh, where we are really lacking uh, is uh, the decision making. Uh, and of course, uh, politics uh, leading towards uh, official positions uh, and uh, uh, positions of leadership, uh, this is what is missing. Um, unfortunately, uh, in, in the present government, we have only one woman uh, minister. Out of uh, 11 ministers, only one woman is a minister, and I think there is a regression from uh, previous years. Uh, also, in the negotiating team of the president, there is uh, uh, in, in the actual negotiating team, there is not a single woman. So this is, uh, for me, this is uh, very wrong because uh, women uh, are able uh, and they have proved uh, uh, in Cyprus that they are able to uh, contribute towards peace and towards uh, uh, the uh, negotiating process. Uh, so um, I would like to see more uh, happening and I'm really committed to uh, working in that direction. Uh, Cyprus being one of the newest members of the European Union, uh, do you feel that the integration process has been to a positive way for Cyprus, has changed the thing? And how the Cypriots feel about the integration progress? Do they feel that European Union should proceed to a more federal state? Mm -hmm. uh, do they feel that should be more, uh, more autonomy in the European mm -hmm. Union? Do they accept the European common policies? Um, the European Union has, uh, has been very um, uh, therapeutic, I think, for all countries uh, that have gone through the process of uh, accession. Uh, the same applies for Cyprus. Uh, the, the, the whole process was a process of learning, a process of adapting, uh, and adapting towards something more, uh, more positive, uh, more correct. Uh, uh, so um, I think we are very uh, privileged that we have gone through this process and uh, from this process uh, a new Cyprus emerged, uh, a more efficient Cyprus, a more competitive uh, Cyprus, um, and um, a Cyprus that, uh, that can use all its potentials uh, within the European Union. So uh, it has been really a very um, uh, important uh, process, but at the same time, as you know, the uh, European Union uh, is uh, is a peace example, and uh, and the process for accession is also a peace process. So, I do hope uh, that um, our membership in the European Union, the uh, uh, candidate status of Turkey uh, for a membership in the European Union, could also act uh, uh, towards uh, changing mentalities uh, uh, and could also contribute towards uh, solving the wider problem that we have. Uh, uh, with uh, with Turkey, the problem of uh, the occupation and the division of the country. Um, recently, more recently, um, uh, because of the economic crisis and because of the decisions that have been taken by European bodies uh, regarding uh, the the um, haircut and the economy and so on, uh, there is a lot of frustration, I would say, among the, among the uh, people. Uh, 
regarding the European Union. I'm not saying that uh, they are against the European Union, uh, definitely not. We are Europeans and we are part of this family, uh, but there is a lot of frustration and uh, bitterness from certain decisions that were adopted uh, regarding uh, Cyprus. And, uh, you know, especially uh, among the young people because there is a huge unemployment. Uh, uh, and uh, this is probably the worst uh, aspect of, uh, of the economic crisis, is unemployment uh, and primarily unemployment uh, among uh, young people. Mm -hmm. And to continue with the economic problems, do you believe that the uh, Mediterranean oil dispute could be solved um, with soft power as a tool? between the conflict with the Cyprus and Turkey? No, not, uh, not, uh, not, uh, not in this particular case, because as you know, uh, the, um, uh, the, the rights and the sovereign rights of, uh, of countries uh, for exploitation of their natural resources in their exclusive economic ro uh, zones uh, are very clear cut. Uh, and they are determined by uh, the law of the Sea Convention, by bilateral agreements uh, that uh, uh, are um, signed uh, between neighboring countries, and we have done that. We have uh, signed agreements with all our neighbors, except with Turkey, uh, because uh, not because we don't want to sign with Turkey, but because Turkey does not uh, recognize the Republic of Cyprus. So in that particular case, uh, things are very clear-cut. Sovereign rights uh, uh, cannot be negotiated. Uh, their sovereign rights are there, and uh, in fact, uh, the General Affairs Council of the European Union just a couple of days ago reiterated uh, the uh, rights and the sovereign rights of all member states uh, to their um, exclusive economic zone and the right to exploit uh, uh, their natural uh, resources. So, I'd like to thank you for your time. It was a really interesting conversation. It was really an honor and a privilege to have you here. It was my pleasure to thank uh, talk you. to thank you. you very and much. good luck also to what you will be doing. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you.